Estamos acá enfrente de la Casa Blanca y estamos acá con una señora. What's your name? Anna Roblin. Anna Roblin. And, uh, I see that you have Gracias AMLO. Uh, what is the situation of why you have Gracias AMLO? AMLO is the only leader of a nation who gave Julian Assange asylum. He did that in January of 2021. And we are so grateful and thankful to him. Julian Assange told on the war crimes of the United States and no country will protect him now. The United States stops everybody from protecting him. And um, we care, this is a freedom of the press issue. We don't have a freedom of the press if you cannot tell on the war crimes of a big country like the United States. And they have prosecuted him. He's in prison. He can die in prison. They have extradited Julian Assange to the United States now, and he is facing probably 150 years in prison. The UN said he should be taken out of prison. He never should have been put in prison. He is a hero. The UN says he is a hero. And the United States and England and nobody and everybody else will not help him and just prosecute him. Es algo que nos está contando la señora sobre Julian Assange de Wikipedia, 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 Wikileaks, Wikileaks, Wikileaks. sorry, de Wikileaks. Eh, ella dice que el presidente Andrés Manuel López Obrador es el único presidente que le ha dado asilo y que ella cree que esta persona puede ser un héroe, un líder y que... Eh, merece el respeto del presidente de México y que pues tenga la oportunidad también de venirle a decir al presidente Biden o a los Estados Unidos y que eh, Julian no debería estar en la cárcel porque puede morir en la cárcel o puede estar más de 150 años, el cual es eh, respetable su opinión. Y eh, let me ask you one more question. Um, do you think uh, the USA uh, president one day uh, can be listened to Julian or you think it's going to be so tough to help him? It's so tough to help him because the United States wants to hurt him just because he was a whistleblower, just because he said he showed the war crimes of the United States to the whole world. And now the United States wants to get him. They want to stop the truth. They want to stop everyone from saying the truth about what the United States does to other countries. And the United States has hurt so many countries, especially in Central America, in South America. The School of the Americas uh, is the United States' fault. WINSEC, that, as it called now, is the United States' fault. They caused many terrible rev rev horrible uh, revolutions against good leadership in Central and South America and now they prosecute a journalist. All he is, Julian Assange, he is a journalist. Uh, una, one of the things, una de las cosas que decía ella es que está preso y no cree que el gobierno de acá pueda apoyar o puede ayudar porque eh, como él destapó, él este, dijo la verdad que estaba en ese momento de cosas que hacían los Estados Unidos en el mundo y a, a los Estados Unidos no le conviene, no le convenía ni sigue conveniendo que se haya dicho la verdad, el cual no cree que pueda ayudar y que así como Centroamérica, Sudamérica y otros países también, eh, pues eh, no cree que tenga un final feliz acá en los Estados Unidos. Pues fue una opinión de nuevamente what's, uh, one, more, uh, one more time what's your name and thank you for being with us uh, I'm Anna Roblin I'm with a group in DC we formed a group called DC Action for Assange you can get us on Facebook and we'll be happy to put you on the list and you can join us we have different events we protest in front of Merrick Garland's house uh, twice a month on Sundays and we have events in front of the Department of Justice to fight for Julian Assange's life.
Perfecto, pues ella dice que comanda una organización donde puede usted participar, donde puede inscribirse para apoyar a Julian Sasach y eh, desde acá, desde Washington DC. Así es que gracias, somos nuevamente Sin Puntos y Cómo se Informa, uniendo a México y el mundo. Suscríbete y dale like.